How's it going guys? And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the ophthalmoscope. And so uh, what you get typically is a box that looks like this. this, is a pretty standard issue thing. And inside of this box, you're going to have this main component and then you've got these two attachments. Um, this one is the otoscope, which we're going to talk about later, but this one is the actual ophthalmoscope. And so this thing is basically a flashlight. Um, very expensive flashlight, but basically all it is is a plug. This charges into a wall outlet, and uh, these are pretty hefty batteries, so hopefully the battery life is pretty good. It is a bright light, um, but basically this thing has come off. If you wanted to change the battery, you literally can just keep unscrewing it um, from the other side, and you can get the battery out just like that. So that's all this thing really is. And then you've got your actual light source part, which is this guy. And there is a power switch on this thing, which is this thing. So if you press in this green guy, it takes the lock off and then you can rotate this uh, little black plastic rim. And by doing that, you're going to be turning on the light and adjusting the, the light's intensity. So we'll see that soon. So basically this thing literally just threads right back on like this. You don't want to cross thread it. But that forms the base of your really fancy light bulb. And then you're going to take the actual ophthalmoscope part of this. And the way this connects is there's these little metal grooves right there. And there's some little indents on here. So you just push this guy in and then you rotate it clockwise until it stops rotating. And so that is the way this thing works. And then if you're in an exam room with a patient, Typically what you want to do and is make sure that their pupils are dilated. So usually they'll turn the lights off in the room and sometimes there's uh, medications that can be administered to actually force the pupils to be dilated as well. Um, and that is so that you're going to have a bigger area to look in because the whole point of this thing is that you're going to be able to see, you know, inside the eye and that retina and a bunch of other features in there that we'll talk about in a little bit. But um, basically, that is the key thing here. So, um, you know, if you just walked into an exam room and you're about to use this thing, you don't just shine the light and point it at somebody, like you're, you point it at your wrist first, you press this little green thing and then the light comes on. And then again, you can adjust the intensity of the light by uh, rotating this knob more and more. And you're also gonna note that these things have a lot of settings in them. Um, and so for getting started, we're just gonna use like the Right now you can see it on my palm. Um, it's like the just a round shape, but there's other shapes you can go with here, like a bigger round shape, uh, a little, you know, whatever you call that thing, a blue thing, a really little uh, round thing, and a medium thing. So medium thing is typically the one that we're going to start out with uh, for doing this stuff because you want to be careful because, you know, these lights can be really bright, especially in a dark room. You don't want to like you know, make someone uncomfortable if you're examining them. So uh, basically that's that. And then, uh, so that's the setting you should have it at. And again, you just rotate this little knob right there to change the type of, uh, you know, light shape and color that you're gonna be using on this thing. And then the other thing you're gonna do is on these models, there's this little bar on the outside. And as I remove this, you will see that it changes the numbers. So right now that's at zero, and this is the diopter setting. And so if you're like me and you need glasses, my prescription's minus 275, what you do is, so if you had 20-20 vision, you didn't need any corrective lenses, zero diopters is meant for you. So congratulations, you have great vision, I'm jealous. Uh, but if you wanted to uh, get this in focus and not need to wear your glasses to actually use this thing, the way you do that is the actual healthcare professional here will put this into their eyes just like that. You'll look at something that's about 10 or 15 feet away. So I've got some, you know, a box over there. And basically I just do exactly what, uh, you know, you do in the eye exams where you say number one, number two, and you just keep switching these things until something comes into focus. And so this is calibrating things for your eyes. And so in my case, I can see that this is about the best once I get to about six diopters on this because I am nearsighted. So um, that is the whole point of this thing uh, is to figure out, you know, can you adjust this for yourself? But basically, 
that is the key features of this guy to get started. And again, we still got our light on and then to turn it off, it's really simple. You just do that. And so basically when you're in the actual exam with the patient, um, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're at the same level as the patient. And the other thing that's really helpful to have the patient do is basically tell them to hold out their thumb and to just keep staring at their thumb. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in at about a 15 degree angle from that and you wanna be in the same plane as their eyes. And so basically you're gonna step off 15 degrees and you're just gonna shine the light into their eyes. And you can see this thing because it forms a little target. Um, and so basically you're gonna shoot for their uh, pupils and because the room will be dark, those pupils should be pretty big. And then once you're actually seeing the pupils um, and seeing through them, you'll see the retina, you'll see a bunch of features. And um, one of the key things that you'll see is the optic disc. And so like a key thing to come out of this is checking whether or not you are seeing any blurring around that optic disc. Cause in a normal healthy eye, you would expect to see a bunch of arteries and veins and they're all kind of very prominent and easily seen. Um, but in patients who have some kind of pressure behind the eye, it can cause a blurriness to happen in this region. And so if you see that, that's something that could be a problem. That's something you need to worry about. So, you know, that those would be a key finding to take away from this. Um, but, you know, if you see a normal result, great. And you've done your job of checking. So that is the key thing for this. I highly recommend looking at actual images. There's a bunch of great reference images to see what normal looks like and what abnormal looks like. Um, and so that is how to get started with an ophthalmoscope. Hope this helps. Thank you all for watching.